Hey everybody, all right, uh, mailbag starts in, I don't know, four minutes, something like that, and I'll be back here for it. Got a couple more things to bring in, etc., etc., uh, but uh, 10 o'clock, that's when we go. to mailbag it's saturday um i don't know what day it is 21st yeah there we go and uh, as with every saturday we're going to open these packages and uh, uh yeah i guess that's about it really so let's see we usually start with news um first off i'm actually uh getting working on getting the old mailbags uploaded now 
it's going to take a while, but I'm, I'm doing it. I wanted you to know I'm doing it. Uh, as far as news goes, uh, uh, um, uh, our new mom has still not delivered her kittens. She's getting very lumpy, uh, and the kittens are getting super obvious. So she might be getting close, although she's not really showing too much nesting behavior, and uh, you know she's not really uh, like producing uh, milk yet or anything. So hard to say uh, how close she might be. Uh, as for these kids, uh, no news is good news. Everybody's just healthy and fine. Not too much to report there. Uh, let's see, when are we taking these guys to the vet for their spays and neuters? Is that coming right up? Oh my, yes, Tuesday. Would you believe it? Uh, that means I really have to get in touch with the adopters. Wow. Uh, so that's important. All right, uh, let's see here. You got a little litter on your nose, pal. Harry. Hi. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Not too much to report. I um, I don't know. I might be a little out of it for today's mailbag. I didn't get as much sleep as I'd like last night because we had all these kids up in the master bedroom last night. And, uh, they alternate between sleeping and running around like crazy and making a ton of noise. Uh, plus, their mom uh, saw me put the treats and the toys away in my nightstand and spent all night trying to break into it. And she actually did uh, open the drawer a few times herself. She's very, very smart and uh, talented that way. A little too much, maybe. So there you have it. Uh, let's jump right in. We've got some letters somewhere. Where did those go? Oh, they're right there. I thought they were right about there. So let's start with that, like we usually do. If we can. If we can find a letter opener, if we can find anything, there's something. All right, let's do it. Hi, what do you think is in here? What do you think is in here for you, Bloom? Do you think there's something in here for you? You want to go look in the drawers? Oh, wow, that's a beautiful picture of a kitty. Very, very pretty. And it says, oh, wow, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, oh, there's a gift card, too. Wow. I don't know why there's a card in the card in a card. Um, but let's, let's take these one at a time. First, I'm going to put the gift card right there. Thank you so much. All right, let's read these. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I have enclosed a card I wrote to you a few weeks ago and failed to send because I was so enthralled by the port oranges I forgot to mention how much I also appreciate the faculty, especially Maggie. And that I'm in awe of all the viewers who send such wonderful notes and such creative and thoughtful gifts. It is heartwarming to see. I also want to tell you that I saw the Catterns being born and I felt so bad for you and them having to go through the tube feeding and all the complications. My kitten didn't eat for a couple days and I had to force feed him with a syringe and I was beside myself until he was well again. But thanks to your awesome care, the Catterns have turned out great and they are so much fun to watch. Princess Paisley being particularly cute. I love the close-ups and I have learned a lot from you. And thanks to you, my cats have a new favorite food, Fancy Feast Gravy Lovers Collection. Thank you. Uh, thanks for everything you do for mom, cats, and kittens. And good luck with the new mom cat from uh, Jana. Is that Jan? Jo is there a Joanna? Uh, maybe we can tell better on the other signature. Let's find out. Because here's a beautiful, another beautiful photo. This one of a cat sitting on a vintage uh, chair. Beautiful. Just that's lovely. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I recently stumbled onto the Kitten Academy live stream around the time the Port Orange's eyes were opening up. I've been watching it since the close-ups. Uh, I've been watching it and the close-ups ever since. It makes my heart happy to see how lovingly you take care of the kittens and mom cats, and to see the Port Orange's growing up. They remind me of our own little orange cat, Denali, who came to us when he was just six weeks old. I guess that's why I've been really enjoying watching the Port Oranges. It's almost like seeing seven Denali's running around everywhere. It looks like heaven. Thank you for all your hard work taking care of the kittens and for sharing the cuteness. Joanna. Joanna or Jana? I can't tell. I think Jana. That's what I'm going to go with, Jana. Uh, P.S. Please accept this donation and use it for anything you need. Well, thank you so much. It's really sweet to hear from you. And uh, that donation is super generous of you. I really appreciate it. And we will definitely use it for the kittens. Uh, JJ, JJ, Jana, Joanna, 
uh, whichever one it is. Okie dokie. And next up, hey, Harry Bone, Harry Bone. Oh, happy birthday. That's a very interesting font, too, because each of the letters has eyes, and they're, some of them are wearing crowns and things and faces. They're all like monsters. They're like monster letters. Hmm. Uh, it says, a super awesome cat like you deserves the superest, awesomest birthday ever. Have fun. Attention, Dr. DJ, Mr. A, and all faculty furry butts. I was going to send it earlier, but I didn't. Better late than never. Happy birthday, Eddie Butt, on a side note to the 10-year-old birthday boy. We hope some kittens of the new mom can't have extra beans. Watching since the Bebops, Weebops, Jess and Diane. Well, Jess and Diane, thank you. It's a very cute card. And yes, it was uh, Eddie's 10th birthday recently. And for his birthday, we got him a uh, tooth removal. <laughs> we took him to the vet and had uh, four of his teeth out, but he's doing just fine. He's recovered. Uh, fantastic. In fact, he was hanging out in here this morning when I brought all the mail in, but I had to move him out so that Lou wouldn't uh, start anything with him. She's in there wrestling with her unicorn scratcher. I don't know if that's on the thing, but you can probably hear the bell. That's all Lou wrestling with her, with her uh, kick toy. So much fun. She's got a ton of energy. Anyway, little Eddie's doing just great. And uh, we're happy about that, for sure. All right. Oh, it looks like we've got cards in a card here again. So uh, we have a poem for Loom. Aw, two copies of it. So I know how this works already. Um, we'll get to the poem in a second, but let's read the letter first. Oh, if I can even get it out of the envelope. All right. Oh, wow. It's a watercolor of a cat in a field uh, near a farmhouse. And it's a field of flowers. And the cat is watching a bird. And there's also uh, swallowtails and a butterfly and even a deer in the trees in the background. It's a beautiful abstract uh, watercolor painting. Just lovely. That's gorgeous. And it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the furries, just a wee card to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for Loom and her adooters and for the Academy. Loom has been the most wonderful mother cat to her adorable kittens, and I'm really going to miss this furry family when they go to their forever homes. Kitten Academy is a shining example of care, compassion, and love in an often topsy-turvy world. It's a constant in the lives of the worldwide Kitten Academy community. I know I've said it before, but I'd really like to thank you for all you do for cats and kittens, and by extension, for we humans too. With lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. And uh, yeah, Lou really has been a wonderful mom cat. She's, uh, I'm, I'm always surprised when I see uh, the last couple days she's been comfort nursing her kittens, even though she's spayed and should be, you know, completely past it at this point. She's all healed up. She doesn't produce any milk, of course, but she still gathers the whole family around once in a while to, to nurse and just sort of have some family time. It's really cute to see. I hope you've seen it on the regular live stream. She's such a good mom and she's so playful with the kittens. And uh, just playful on her own, too. She's a lot of fun wherever she's gone. So, a poem for Loom, Lovable Loom. Lovable Loom, I saw you arrive, and from that very first moment at the Academy, you started to thrive. You waited with patience until it was time to bring forth your kittens, your babies divine. You've devoted yourself to your kittens with love, and the dedication you've shown to them has been beyond and above. It's not easy to raise all those wee ones with such focus each day to feed them, to groom them, and then have to play. But you've done it all, and you've been a star, and to you, lovable loom, I send spoogles and purrs from afar. Uh, written for loom by Joanne. That is really sweet. We will make sure one copy of that goes to loom's uh, adopters. So I'll have to put it with the endowment stuff. So I'm going to just set it over here for the moment. And uh, that means by the time it's time, we will have completely lost it. But uh, we'll work everything out in the end. That's how we do. 
All right, on to the packages. Well, I recognize what this is right away. It's funny how we've come to recognize some things. This is the long-tailed mouse. And it says, for endowments, if there's not enough toys for these toy-driven kittens, please use their otherwise deployment for Meryl's murals room. Thank you all for making KA a safe and happy place to relax and enjoy from our homes. From De Demural Bear. All right, uh, Demural Bear. So uh, I can tell you already, I know each of these kittens already has a box of the long-tailed mice in their endowments. So we can put this aside for uh, Mural or Mural's room, uh, either or. I think Mural is one up there too, but I'm not, I'm not sure if she does or not. So I'm gonna put your little note with that and we'll set it aside to go uh, to Mural's uh, room or Mural's endowments or Mural's something. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, let's just go right for it. Look at this thing. I posted a picture of this package on um, the Discord already. And look, it's got it's got the most awesome art on it. And of course, the post office has written our post office box number and the dates on this side, even though every other side of this box is uh, completely available for all the writing the post office might want to do. They had to put it on the one side that had all the art on it. Nonetheless, you can see how beautiful it is. We have every kitten represented here. We have Basket Weave and Argyle spelled out and sharing the same E. We have Chevron here in the corner with the Chevron logo in color. We have Herring Bone. There's a herring and a bone, not to scale. It says Herring Bone. And then over here, we have Princess Paisley with the two little Paisley circles, Princess Paisley. And also it says Loom, L-O-O-M. So that's everybody. That is so clever. And really good art. That's a great drawing of a bone and a fish and that paisley. It's all very good. Well done. I think Chevron is even written in the right font for that logo. All right, let's get this opened up, whatever it is. The note. Okay, okay to read aloud. All right, not just on stream, but aloud. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, this uh, rainbow letterhead, by the way, very cute. Way to go on raising another great class of kittens. Enclosed are some catnip toys patterned for each of them made by my amazing wife. Loom's kids have developed personalities as diverse as their patterns. One toy shaped like a Stargate for the little Chevy, and we all know that Chevrons are essential to Stargates, right? Ah, that's a good point, actually. I don't know why I never put that together. Very Prager's mural has been a delight to see getting along with the faculty, and I hope that continues post pew pew pew. Everything you do for the kittens, birds, squirrels, and keeping HVAC workers employed is amazing. Making KA a part of our family's day has been a joy, always giving us a smile and the unexpected good job on creating this wonderful space, sending boops and bellies. From Adam, Beth, Zoe, and Kitty Bear, Zodiac Bear. Um, and I also notice it says, uh, We Love Mags is spelled out as the, the uppercase letters at the start of each sentence. We Love Mags. How sweet is that? We Love Mags. Very clever. Now, somebody has entered already into your box here. <laughs> this is Chevron and started tearing things up. Looks like he only got as far as the tissue paper, but he's very interested. Let's put some of this tissue paper out here as a potential distraction. I know it's the perfect size box for you. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Wow, these are awesome. Uh, we have here a hot air balloon made for basket weave, I see, because it's got a basket. That makes perfect sense to me. We have a, oh, a Stargate. That must be for Chevron. Wow, look at that, a Stargate. It, it's got the little Chevrons around the side too, or the little markers that point out the Chevrons and the little ramp up and everything. That is so cool. All right, that's for Chevy. Here we have one for Harold Bone. Yes, Harold Bone. That's super cute moose. Uh, he's, he's got some uh, big moose horns on there too. I'm trying to figure it out. There is a herringbone pattern used in the construction of him, so I guess that works out. Uh, 
Here we have a beautiful, delicate swan for Princess Paisley, made with a Paisley print right there as well. That all works. Here we have uh, a tuxedo, and the tuxedo has a, an argyle bow tie and vest. So I assume, yep, it's for argyle. Very cute. And then finally, we have a unicorn, and the unicorn has incorporated a little bit of each of those patterns on um, its mane. So there's a little bit of paisley and chevron and herringbone and argyle and basket weave, all the same from these toys. And that's, of course, for Loom. So clever and cute and well made, too. These are just fantastic. So that's Adam, Beth, Zoe, and Kitty Bear. Those, those are amazing, and the kids obviously like the smell. There must be a lot of catnip smells in this box. I'm going to put this back in the same box, though, and I'm going to add that poem, and then we're just going to have this in the endowments for the time being, although we'll probably have to upgrade to a bigger box before the end of this mailbag. I'm going to wrap this up so they stop climbing in it for the moment. And I want to check the camera angle because that camera looks a little off to me. It is a little off. They, they must have moved it, um, but it's fine. We're all good. Okay, we're just going to keep rolling. Keep rolling. All right. Uh, well, we've got box from Mr. Meow. We're all familiar with Mr. Meow. I was just uh, going to take a look to see if there's anything else on the box that was relevant, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, Mr. Meow uh, has frequently sent quite a few cat toys and boxes to sort of fill out the endowments. And I'm anticipating this is more of that same wonderfulness. That's exactly what it is. If I can get this all set down over here somewhere, all right. Uh, greetings, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. In this box, there are toys for endowments. Also, there's a bed and kicker toy for Loom. Some toys you could use right away. Most respectfully yours, Mr. Meow. All right, Mr. Meow. Look at that. They are already getting into it. Loom thinks this must all be for her. So we have a Vibrant Life variety pack that has all kinds of toys in it, including an, an avocado slice and a taco and uh, a slice of cheese. So there's some definite food going on in there with the other stuff. We got some catnip kickers and various animal prints. Uh, animal prints, animal prints, these are all good ones. We got some giraffe and a leopard and a zebra. Um, we got some fish here, some big fish kickers. Look at that, those are cool too. This guy, wow, that's like a pike or something, right? Uh, we got some other bags of toys. Look at that. All the classics in here, including some springs. We got another kicker with an animal print. Look at this. It's a giant pineapple kicker, and it says Loom. So this is clearly for Loom. Uh, look at that pineapple print, though. How cool is that? And this is exactly the kind of thing she is going to love. She was just in there wrestling with that big purple kicker. Uh, so she can definitely use a catnip kicker once in a while. Because it's specifically for Loom, I'm going to move it out of the rest of the endowment box. That way I don't miss that little note that says Loom later on. Uh, this is cute. We've got uh, the animals from the old Quiznos commercials. Uh, I mean, they're not, but they kind of remind me of those. I'm sure I've said that before, too. That sounds familiar to me. Uh, we've got a yarn ball. Um, another yarn ball. I think that's the kind of thing Baba would go for. Uh, we got some fish here, some more fish. We got some balls. We got a ton of uh, wand toys of various type. Look at that, a whole handful of wand toys. Mr. Meow, this is incredible. This is quite a haul. Oh, we got another yarn ball. Uh, we got some more plastic balls here. We got these uh, Robin toys that are a little, uh, I said Robin, I don't know why I said Robin. It's just a red bird and a blue bird with long tail birds. Uh, we have another fish shaped kicker with a bell in it. We've got a giant, oh, okay, wait, that's the bed. That's the bottom. I can't get that out. Look at this. This is familiar. This is the adorable uh, door toy. That's a fun one that we gave away with uh, Puget. I want to say went home with Puget, right? 
Um, but they all loved it. This would be a fun thing to try with this class. I bet they would go nuts for it. Maybe I should set this out for, you said we could deploy some stuff right away if we need to. Maybe I should set that aside to try with these kids. Uh, we've got a crinkle ball rainbow thing. I don't know what that is supposed to be, but it's very cute. Another pack of toys with springs and Charlie balls and plastic balls and everything. Uh, really uh, blue beauty lush plush cat toy. Wow, it is a parrot. It's hard to even tell it's a parrot underneath all those wings and feathers and things. Look at that. He's got a cool little parrot beak. And he's holding a string in his mouth. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. So the bird toy has its own toy. It's Toyception. We've got some Yao catnip crayons. That's the good stuff there. we got these uh, weird little bows that I bet the kittens will love. We've got some uh, laser pointers. Wow, a big handful of various laser pointers. We've got, oh, another one of these weird rainbow things. I don't know, it looks like a lollipop to me or something. Oh, and another one, and some more of the bows. And, oh, a Zany's Real Fur Ball. It's just a ball of real fur. We know these have been a big hit for the last class. They went right through theirs. These guys have enjoyed the real fur stuff quite a bit, too. Uh, this is sort of on the same theme as those rainbow circles, but a little different. We've got Savvy Tabby brand real fur mice with feathers. This one, I mean, a real fur mouse with a feather, and then this one is a fake fur mouse with a little string tail and some big eyes. Uh, oh, we've got some more of that kind of stuff right here, too. Hang on. Some more of the little Savvy Tabby. We've got another real fur mouse from them, another real fur mouse from them, another uh, fuzz ball from Zanies. We've got Cat is Good brand, tiny little mouse, little tiny mouse. He's very cute. Wow, that is a, uh, Mr. Meow. That is a lot of stuff. We're almost at the bottom here. Uh, we've got a bag of little sisal wrap mice with uh, feather tails. Those are going to be a big hit. We've got a Mylar ball. We have, uh, oh, another toy pack with the avocado slice, just like where we started. A tin, um, sorry, a plastic of Yao catnip. How come you can say A10 but not A plastic? I know I've complained about this before. Uh, here's some more of those mice. And then all the way at the bottom, we have the bed for Loom. This is a very cute bed, too. We've got some that are this size. They're a big hit. Uh, so that'll work out perfect, I bet, for her. And then a bag inside that has, oh, a whole bunch more of those little zanies mice. Look at that, a giant handful of these uh, mice in various colors. Also a big hit, these things. All right, that's great. Oh, well you just sit right there on your mom's bed. I'm gonna put everything except the bed back in this box to use as sort of generic endowments. And then uh, the bed I'll leave out for the same reason so that I don't miss the fact that it's for Lou when uh, handing out endowments, time comes. And I say when the time comes, but that's probably this week that I've gotta get all that stuff sorted out. Because the boys, the boys at least, will be ready to be picked up by their adopters this week, uh, anytime after Wednesday. Um, but the uh, the girl, well, the girl, uh, only Paisley, really, because Loom's also ready to go home. But Paisley uh, is going to have to wait another 10 days after before she can have her suture out, which is fine, because I think Paisley's adopter already let me know that she wasn't going to pick up Paisley until next month. So that works out really well, actually. Also, the real fur Savvy Tabby Mouse has already been picked up as a toy, so we're just gonna let them have it. That's fine, they can keep going with that. Chevron's got it. He's gonna take it over there and play with it. Very cool, Mr. Meow, what a great haul. This is so, I've, I've told you before how wonderful it is that you send all this stuff so that we can really sort of pad out the endowments and uh, these go a long way with the adopters. It's so wonderful. And Chevron is enjoying that fur mouse right now. He's right behind the camera, so he's probably invisible to everybody. He's just, uh, but it's, uh, he's, he's really having fun. He seems like he's, he's trying to do it with the tissue paper. So maybe if I move the tissue paper, he'll come around. Here, I'll just put the tissue in the bed for now. Push that out of the way a little. See how that works. 
Okay, well, this is great. This is good for sort of generic endowment items. And we'll just pile the rest of them in there with your stuff, Mr. Meow. Thank you very, very much for that. Oh, this is super exciting. I've been excited about this for a while. Uh, if you've been on the Discord chat, first off, it says uh, in really big letters here, not for stream, asterisk, unless you really want to open on stream. Okay, I'm going to open it on the stream. Uh, this is from WrenchCat. If you've been on the Discord chat, uh, you know that WrenchCat is uh, an expert level woodworker, craftsman. And um, he volunteered when he heard that I was having some trouble sourcing platforms to replace the platforms on these old, worn out cat trees. Uh, he volunteered to make some. And I said, you know, that's it's so generous of you to do that. I said, what? I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to work on this project right away. It's something I'm kind of thinking in advance. So don't worry about it now, and I'll hit you up when I'm ready. But he was so excited by the prospect of this uh, this building a platform for the cat tree that he went ahead and made some platforms and sent them, and that's what this is, or should be. Um, so I understand how that is, too. I get that way. If I get an idea for a project I really am excited about, then I just I want to do it. You know, I want to wait. So I get it. Uh, I completely get that. And I am super excited to see these. this. This or these? I don't know. Let's find out. Together. Wrench Cat, it is so generous of you to apply your woodworking skills to this uh, little project of ours. Okay, let's see. Oh, and there's a note at the bottom. Good, good. Okay, wow. These are going to be too nice. I mean, that's part of the problem is that... Uh, the old ones aren't so nice, so I don't have to worry about it too much, but this one sounds really good. So uh, let's see, first off, you have included a business card, which I hope is for you, probably. Uh, cutting Edge, CuttingEdgeArtProducts.com. That's Cutting Edge Art Products, just the way it sounds. Uh, all one word, dot com. CuttingEdgeArtProducts.com. Okay, let's see. If that is uh, all correct. Oh, you've included a few of those. Oh, look at that. This is cool. Uh, hmm. uh, okay, cutting edge. There we go. Cuttingedgeartproducts.com. And you say, hello, Mr. A, here are those dreaded cat tree curved platforms you told me not to make. Once I came up with the idea, I just had to see it through. Uh, wow, that's funny how that is exactly what I just said, too. You are under absolutely no obligation to use them, but I just wanted you to know they are available as an option. If you do want some more, but need to adjust the size or curve, just let me know. That is easily doable. I included my card and a couple of stickers with my contact info in case you'd like to contact me off the Discord. All my best. Uh, obviously, these or any more I would send are free, a donation. Oh, that's too nice. Wrench Cat. Uh, so that's Wrench Cat on the Discord. Whose name is uh, Choli? Ch I'm not familiar with that name, but I'm going to go Choli. We're going to go with Wrench Cat, all right? Wrench Cat, uh, that's a great name, and uh, we're going to stick with it. So let's see. I saw some of the stuff that you've done on the Discord, and it is amazing woodwork. All packed in here very nicely. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are fantastic. So you did send two platforms and they are, uh, they're plywood that's been sort of, uh, uh, what do you call it, curved? Not curved. Uh, what do you, so you've made long cuts down the plywood and then you bent it and uh, glued it into two pieces together. And then it's so nicely finished too because, um, not just the surface is all like nice and sanded, but you've done the edges really nicely um, with uh, um, not just sanded down, but it's got a little bit of a shape to the edges too. So that's fantastic. And it's a, it's a nice curve as you guys can see, and it's solid. Like this thing is going to last forever. And uh, wow, that is, that is just spectacular. Uh, it's a little less curved than most of these platforms, but not all of them. There's a couple of these, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that, that we can use this to replace a couple of them. Of course, the one platform, oh, you know what? I bet the camera's gonna show this. The one platform that needs the, the replacement more than any other right now, although there's a couple of them that are really close to this, um, 
is the one on the top, the very top of this cat tree. Let me see if that's on the camera so I can just show you guys what I'm talking about. It is barely on camera, right on the corner. Uh, look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about? Like if I was a cat, I wouldn't get on that, although I see them on it. Uh, can you see under that bends? Look at that. Uh, and I think that's just attached to the top there with like a single bolt or screw right through the top. So that's one that, you know, it doesn't matter what the curve is. I could replace that with one of these very easily. Uh, so for sure, we can use one of these up there. And uh, I know the idea would be to take like a staple, um, to staple carpeting to it like the other ones have, which is a good idea. You need something, especially for that top one, you need to have something that they can really get their claws into. And this uh, plywood is not going to be something they can get their claws uh, to get a good grip on. So uh, I, what I was thinking, though, is that um, I haven't found a good source for carpet remnants out here yet either, but we do on a regular basis retire the rugs that we use. And I thought that would be a perfect way to retire the next rug. The last one that we retired is in the garage and DJ parks on it because I thought it would be funny uh, rather than just throwing it out to, to make it like a parking, uh, like, a, like a rug set for car. Just as a, you know, what else are you going to do with it? Um, so the next time we're going to retire one of these, that's that's what I, I think I'll use. Is, and then we can sort of have a history of our rugs too that way. That'd be fun, right? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So, uh, and uh, you would ask, I think you'd ask me if I had a good, uh, you know, way to staple the carpet onto these things. And I do have a power stapler um, that I use. So I think that'll do the trick probably. Um Wow, these are these are just fantastic. These are these are great. Cuttingedgeartproducts.com. Um, thank you so much. I don't know when I'm going to take that platform off and put this on, but that is obviously the place to start. And then I'll have to determine which other platform is the second worst off. All of the platforms that are on the the main cat tree, um, some of them aren't like the platforms aren't as broken down as much as the carpet is just frayed beyond belief. Some of the corners are completely missing. Anyway, I'll work it all out. Wrench Cat, I can't, I cannot, I literally cannot thank you enough for sending that along, uh, sending these along. Um, just, just wonderful. I can't wait to try them out. Uh, real good uh, guesstimate about where how these should be uh, shaped. I, I, like I said, I think. I think there's at least a couple of the platforms that these are a perfect match for, and then some of the others are curved just a little, I think just a little more, but we can do some real measurements when we're ready to, to really get to it. For now, I'm just going to set those back there. Uh, that way I don't have to, um, I think, yeah, I'm just going to set them back there. That's good. Okay. And I'm going to put this letter with it. The, oh, and the cards too. Let's put that all together. There we go. Okay. Thank you so much, Wrench Cat. That is the coolest, coolest thing. And you are really good at that. Um, Okie dokie. Oh, well, we know what this is, don't we? We all know exactly what this is. Uh, because it comes in the triangle-shaped box. And there's only one thing that we always get in the triangle-shaped box. The only thing. Uh, Janice sees noodle sticks for this class, I bet. So let's see if that's right. Of course, it is noodle sticks. It is the note, and the note says, the note says, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, help. All right, we got it. Uh, it says, Hope your every day is full of treats, and it is a pinata, so that makes good sense. Have a smashing day. You all know what to expect here. Noodle sticks for Loom and her catterns to enjoy in their forever home. Sending much love to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, the faculty, Loom and the catterns, mural, all KA alumni, and to all the KA fans and supporters around the world. Love, Janice C. All right, Janice C., thank you very much. And you just, Janice C is the one who first introduced us to the entire concept of noodle sticks. Um, and uh, since then has the, the most amazing collection of noodle stick material to make them in various colors and sends them for every class. Uh, handmade, uh, so this is herringbone made with love from Janice C. 
Uh, this is Paisley. We have, oh, Chevron, beautiful teal color for she Chevron. Basket Weave gets the silver one. Loom gets a green one. Argyle gets an orange one. So perfect. Princess, do you want to look at yours? Yours is the purple one, right? Yes, this one. Do you want to look at yours? You like that? It matches your collar pretty well, doesn't it? It's a good one, huh? What is it? Okay. Okay, well, you'll get lots of time to play with that when you get to your new home. But for now, let's put them, uh, do I put them back in there or do I put them in here with the other endowment items that we have so far? I think I'm going to put them in here with the other endowment items. There we go, because we can. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, Janice C., thank you so much. And thank you so much for introducing us to noodle sticks in the first place, because those have just been um, a wonderful, wonderful tool for us to have all along. We always keep some. There's some everywhere around the house. We've got some in that, in the, the toy drawer here, some in the nightstand in the bedroom. We've got some in my office that I keep for photography. There's one in the annex. Um, so they're just, they're everywhere around the house. They're just so awesome and wonderful. Uh, so thanks for, for the concept of them and, of course, uh, for sending them for every class. That's awesome. And you make the best ones because, you, like I said, you've got so many different colors to choose from. Okay, uh, this is an oddly heavy little package that's uh, addressed to Chris and DJ. Interesting. Oh, oh, well, I do know what this is, though. Uh, this is the Burns' is, uh, honey, right? Is that, is that right, I think? Oh, there's no, there's no note or anything to prove it. Is there a note? There isn't a note anywhere, but it is the Burns, yes, Burns. Okay, well, this is perfect. The Burns uh, make their own honey. Wait, they don't They don't make it. They have bees that make it for them, I assume. I mean, maybe. I don't know. They're pretty sweet. Um, and uh, they've given us, uh, this is the third or fourth time that they've given us some of the, the honey that they've produced. At, and uh, it's, it's, it's great. It's awesome. It takes me a long time to use a bottle of honey um like uh but but somehow they always end up having having to send us more they're like we had a big harvest we got to get rid of it take some and it always happens right when i've run out like i've just run out of the last honey that they sent so this uh this is perfect not really kitten um, but that's that's why it was so heavy so that's that's perfect that's wonderful that will definitely get used uh thank you very much burns is yes uh, Zazzle. All right, a little something from Zazzle. Via Zazzle, I should say. Let's see if there's a, anything in here to indicate who there's not. Any, there's no paper in here. There's nothing on the outside. It just says to Kitten Academy. Well, maybe somebody's in my DMs, you know, will tell me uh, what, who sent this. Um, but it's a Zazzle discount uh, code. We'll see if anything else turns up. Anyway, they appear to be personalized blankets for the class. Look at this. These are great. Oh, look at that. It's Paisley. It's got a printed photo of Paisley with, uh, I assume that's her birthday, right? Uh, Paisley. And it's got a Paisley print on it, too. It's perfect for her. That's so pretty. What a great photo. That's a great print of that photo, too. This is, uh, this is very good. So that's Paisley, but it looks like there's one here for each of them. We're going to have to look at them all, and then I'm going to have to look at my phone to see if we know who sent it. Uh, so that's Paisley. This is obviously Herringbone. Look at that Herringbone. There you go. Also a very cute photo. Pick some good ones, whoever did this. So that's our little Herringbone. Uh, how is this folded? I'm going to just try my best to fold these up more or less the way they should be. All right, herringbone. This looks like a basket weave from the print. So it is a basket weave with a photo of basket weave. I bet they'll love these blankets too. Hi, Argyle. Well, you're next. You got here just in time to see your blanket. You want to see your blanket? You know, let me fold this up first. Hi, pal. 
All right, hang on. Let's fold up basket weave. All right, here's Argyle, and here's Argyle. Oh, there we go, Argyle. These are soft. These are very soft, uh, sort of a flannel. Um, yeah, beautiful. Look at that, Argyle. Looks just like you, pal. Okie dokie. And finally, Chevron. Look how pretty all of these are. With the matching print and the beautiful little photos. <laughs> Our guy wants to play with the blankets. Are they for playing with? You want to bite on your brother even when it's just a picture? Okay, Argyle. Okay, Argyle. Hey, hey, buddy, you got to learn to let go. You got to learn to let go. He's still biting at it. He's like, no, I'm going to take it down. All right, pal. All right, good. Got some love. It's already got some love on it. Well, let's see if we know who these are from because they are perfect for these kittens, but there's no note. The only piece of paper in the whole thing is a uh, Zazzle 50% off cards. Oh, and 20% off site-wide. If anybody want 20% off on Zazzle, the code is 2021 thank you. It's all one word, all uppercase, 2021-T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. Perfect. You can all use that. Uh, where is the chat at? How do phones work? Well, it looks like it must be from Scarlet on the Discord chat, I guess, because that's what I see everybody saying thank you to. They turned out so well. Awesome. Well, thank you, Scarlet, uh, presumably. Custom baby blankets. Oh, it's for me and the admins. Oh, well, thank you, Scarlet. Those are just fantastic. I mean, really fantastic. Great. I love the way you picked the print uh, to match each one. And then the photos are beautiful photos with their names and their birth dates. Those are going to be so special to the adopters. Really, really special. Um, all right. But we got to move right along, don't we, buddy? Yeah. What's up, Basker? All right. Uh, hey, let's do this next. This came to us uh, from... Uh, um, the tiny plants, it says. Oh, and the tiny plants and humans. All right, we'll just credit it the way it's credited here. And there's some shiny tape on the box, too, to cover it up. We like that. And we already know it includes a whole stack of the Jackson Galaxy Space Station, which is one of the quality toys that has the Jackson Galaxy name on it. I know I sound surprised because I am sort of bucks the trend for the Jackson Galaxy stuff, although... Uh, if I'm being extremely critical, there is one flaw, which is it always loses that ball. And it comes with a ball that's like extra heavy and has a lot of inertia and really, really, the ball's perfect. It works great in there. The trouble is that it comes out too easy. And this one, for instance, the one that we've been trying to introduce to the kittens, they knocked the ball out. And I don't know where it went. It's somewhere, probably behind one of the doors. I don't know. I gotta find it, but they love it anyway. It's a great thing, and so we've got a whole stack of them. These each still have the balls. You can hear them. Uh, brand new. They found a way uh, to get these. Basically, oh Maggie, don't do it, Maggie. Uh, Loom's out there. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Ah. Ah. Loom. 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 Let me, let me. <laughs> oh, that's a clever way to let her out. <laughs> uh, Maggie wanted to go outside, and then uh, that didn't work. Okay, here was I. I was saying uh, Jack's Galaxy Space Station, great toy. These kids already love the one that they have. Um, so, uh, and uh, these guys found a way basically to get them, like I said, for free. There was some sale at... Uh, uh, one of the, the big volume discount stores where they were they were giving from what excuse me from what I understand they were giving you like store credit to match the amount that things cost so you break even on the yeah 
Is that what she wanted to do? Yeah, so you can kick Lulu upstairs and put her in, or we can just close her in her room. Well, I don't know, it's a little weird though, isn't it? You sure? She's having a good time with mailbag. Are you going to be upstairs? Okay. You can do that if you want. You know you can just open that gate. I guess we are keeping this, right? Well, no, you're going to take it down if you take Loom away, but that's fine. All right, so where were we? So, so, come with me. Hi, me. It says, uh, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and students. Hello from the tiny plants. We're keeping busy playing, zooming, and being fabulous for our Instagram account. We sent our humans down to Connecticut to make this delivery because it was a bit heavy and unwieldy to be mailed. The big bag contains one Jackson Galaxy space station each for Loom and her caterns. Dad is working on creating, oh, look at that. Dad is working on creating a 3D printed modification to help prevent the issue of the ball randomly popping out. If he can make it happen, the humans will reach out to the Catern and Duders to offer them one. In the box, there's six floppy fish for Loom and the Caterns as well. Oh, those are the fish that, that uh, flop around like the lobster does. Oh, that's perfect. This one says, makes noise cats love. Hopefully that just means the noise of the motor running. Um, USB rechargeable, perfect, yes. So this is a much fancier packaging than the ones that we've seen before, but it's probably the same product. Uh, oh, it's a little different actually, because the old ones don't have these, uh, what do you call the dorsal? No, ventral fins, right? These would be ventral. Oh, oh, what are you doing here though? Should you be here with this little kid around? So that's our new mom, Mural. Uh, it's also a little flatter. They put a the smaller mechanism in this one. So that's cool. It's a little upgraded from the ones that we're used to. Uh, they're USB chargeable. They they flop around just like that lobster toy does. I'm uh, it's in that direction. So uh, these are these are great toys. In the box, there's six floppy fish. Okay. Uh, there's one taco truck and one coffee truck crinkly bag toy like we have. Hey. Who's, who's making all the noise though? Mural, are you making noise? I know you don't mind the kittens. I know they do mind you because they haven't met you yet. What's that? Oh yeah, Mural came right in here. She might need to go to her room because she's not too used to the kittens and I don't want her to decide to sneeze right in their face either. Plus she needs to eat. Can you carry her or do you want me to carry her up? She doesn't, she doesn't love to be carried, and I think we've got that level of trust with her now. If you want me to do it. <laughs> you want me to get the door for you? You want to go out this way? Got it? Okay. All right. That's fine. You can leave that. They'll figure it out. Okay. I keep interrupting this. I'm so sorry for all the interruptions. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of these fish flop toys, and then uh, let's see what this other stuff is that you mentioned. So it's three, four, five, six. That's exactly the right number for Loom and her kids. That's perfect. Uh, there's also one taco truck, truck and one coffee truck crinkly bag toy like we have. There's stuff in here. There's other stuff in here that I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. This is so cool. What is this stuff? There's some cool stuff in here. Oh, I see. The okay. The taco truck and the uh, coffee truck are um, like pop up bag toys. So it's like a big old uh, bag um, or box that is like a, like a very weak box, I guess, if you look at it that way. Um, those are very, very cute. The bags can be deployed for play now or put into random endowments as you see fit. The humans have included a bottle of spicy maple syrup for your chicken and waffle needs. They say they use this kind often and enjoy it. So the tiny plants humans are, are real foodies. Uh, like they seem to know everything about food and, uh, you know, both restaurants and where to find stuff and just all this kind of foodie, foodie, foodie stuff. 
Um, so I'm excited about this. Trees, Knees, Spicy Maple, born in Brooklyn, New York. Wow, this sounds very fancy. Sweet, rich, organic maple syrup. Spicy kick from habanero peppers. Oh, man. So I like to use a, a spicy syrup on my chicken and waffles, and this sounds really good. I got to just see. Oh, it's all sealed. I'm not going to break the seal right now. Trees, Knees, Spicy Maple. All right, that sounds fantastic. I'm excited to do it. There's also a few small bottles of their homemade, see this is what I'm talking about, homemade smoked uh, maple ketchup that they made last fall in hopes of sharing with friends in an in-person KA con. We had fun appearing on the Zoom chat for virtual KA con though. Oh well, we'll make more this fall for next year. Paws crossed. Uh, so this is so cool. Maple tomato ketchup. Uh, I think we had we had a, a special ketchup that you had made a few years ago at KA Con. Um, wasn't it the same? Was it maple? Or was it spicy? Now I can't remember. I, just, I remember I used it all. I remember that part very clearly. Um, you've made some other really cool stuff over the years, too. Wasn't it you guys that made that, uh, uh, what was that jam that you made that was just crazy? There was, I think there was some sort of a banana jam and then some sort of a, like a, oh man, it's been too long now. Some really good stuff is the point, I guess. So look at that, you sent three of the maple tomato ketchups. Uh, I'm turning them backwards without the label because it's got your real names on there. And I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure everybody already knows. Uh, Mom was going to make DJ some maple fudge, but the hot, humid weather ruined that plan. She'll have to do it when the cooler, drier weather comes back. Anyway, thank you for the awesome start in life you gave us so that we could find our happily ever after in our forever home. We're very happy, loved, and spoiled rotten, as it should be. Thank you for everything you do and for sharing your adventure with everyone. We watch the stream all the time and especially pay attention when we hear either of your voices. You are the best. Use the Spoogles from Thistle Moss and Fern, and of course their loyal employees, Calimo and Sir Geek. All right, Calimo and Sir Geek, thank you. P.S. The kids forgot to list the Academy Award toy. It might be cute for use in photo shoots. Enjoy. Look at that, it is the Academy Award. This toy is super cute. Look at that. It's a cat of the year, cutest cat award, snuggliest cat. Oh, I see. The, the, the labels are Velcro, so we can pull off the labels and put on different labels for what the award is for. We could just say it's for nothing at all. Uh, and it is a golden cat on top of a pedestal. It's, it's very, very cute. Uh, cat of the year, cutest cat award, snuggliest cat. Oh, wow. Well... We'll put cutest cat award on the front and let DJ give it to whoever she's going to hang out with for now. Uh, I do think it'll be perfect for uh, photo shoots, though. How fun would that be? We can probably make a really cool photo shoot using this as a prop. I love it. Thank you guys so much, especially for the Jackson Galaxy Space Stations. You told me that when you found out you could get them for free, you drove around to like two or three of the different stores and bought them all out. So there may be more Jackson Galaxy Space Stations for the next class already laid away, which is very, very sweet of you to do that for us and for the kittens, of course. Thank you so much. Um, and I owe you, uh, I guess, special thanks for all your assistance in Red Dead Redemption Online, too, uh, which I need to get back to now that I've added even more stuff to it. That's so fun. Wow. Okay, that is that is awesome stuff. Uh, how am I gonna? Where am I gonna? Uh, why don't I put these into the space stations, and then I can just carry all that down together. And these I'm I'm gonna put with the random endowments. Although I'd really like to try it out on these kittens or something. So, but for now I'm gonna put them right there with the endowment stuff. And then this is gonna go back here. There we go. Somebody playing in that space station is wiping me out. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and the new stuff, this all has to go in the stuff that is for us. So I'm going to put that right here. This will be the box for us. We're just going to do this and this, and not that, but this. Uh, and the letters, of course. There we go. And the chevron, that's for us. Okay, and this is for endowments. So that goes for endowments. Oh, but the honey is for us. This is for the endowments. 
And this I'm just going to move right over here. You kids can play with it all you want now. All right, this is also for us, but uh, whatever. We'll sort that out after. This is the weirdest little package. I assume it didn't, I don't know if it got damaged or what, but I've never before seen a package that got to us with no address. There's no address to ship it to us. There's no return address. There's no information on the outside, but they have handwritten our post office box number. So hopefully the post office, I don't know, did it get damaged? What happened here? Well, it's clearly for us. You can see that much. Oh, it says, enjoy your gift from, uh, oh, let's see, here we go. Play, 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 attack, attack, attack. That's what these play-activated kittens, including Mama Loom, are good for. That is so true. As if they do not have enough toys, please add these to their boxes. Love the K.A. family from D. Mural Bear. I like D. D. Mural Bear because it sounds like Demure. Uh, but it's it's D like D E like the like D E and then mural bear uh, like mural the cat bear you get it uh, to, but to mural bear is uh, that's a cute name so these are the packs of these these red and white mice uh, they also have the worms in them but the worm toys are very common the red and white mice are uh, they're like real fur mice that have a little loop on the end so you can use them on a wand toy. They are fantastic. They've got a rattle in them. Uh, and they might be the cheapest way to get real fur mice, but whatever they are, these cats love them. They're, they've already completely shredded two of them. And when I told you earlier that Loom kept me up all night by trying to get into my nightstand, this is what she was trying to get. And in the morning, I saw she had pulled it halfway through. I, I have to describe our nightstand. It's, uh, it's basically like... Uh, it looks very, uh, I don't know what you're going to call it. I would call it, it looks very Indian. It's basically wood, and it, the front of it is carved up like it wants to be some kind of knot work. And then in between each of the little knot work things, there's a hole. So so the front of the, the nightstand is full of holes. And that's, so all night long, she's got her hands, you know, in these holes trying to reach in and grab the stuff that's inside the nightstand. And of course, one of these mice is in there. So I come in the morning, I look, and she's pulled it halfway out. It's stuck in the hole. The little front of the mouse is just stuck in that hole. It's one of these red and white mice. They're crazy for them. So the fact that we've got all these to split up into their endowments is perfect. They're going to love these things so much. Um, so I'm going to put these with their endowments, which are right here for now. Uh, thank you, Demural Bear. De Demure? Demural Bear? Yes. That's what we're going for. Uh, really, really perfect. And oh, the worms, by the way, the worms are also, I should say, a favorite of these kids. They go crazy. They, they carry those worms around, especially Argyle, but all of them, they carry it around. They growl at each other and they fight for them. So together, that is the perfect pack of toys. Uh, they don't even need the wand to make them fun. Although if you do put them on the wand, of course, that keeps them super, super Something in there is clanging around. I think I have an idea what it might even be. But we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, wow. Hey, I know what this is, and I know who it's from. <laughs> well, we've been doing this a while now if it comes to that, doesn't it? Uh, so these are Pet Smart gift cards, a stack of Pet Smart gift cards. And it says some lovely goodies for Loom and her babies. They have all brought us so much joy and laughter. Hugs, Shell. Shell, thank you so much. You do this for every class, and it's so generous of you. And I say every time, but it, it bears repeating for anybody that's new. Um, this is such a wonderful thing for you to do for the adopters because everybody sends stuff they know the kittens like, that they like, and the kittens go home with so many things. This is a nice way for you to contribute something and also for, for that person that adopts the kitten then to be able to go and pick out something that they like for their kitten to have, you know, or something they need. Uh, but either way, awesome. It's, it's so wonderful of you to do that. I'm going to add this over here to the pile. There we go. My hair pet smart gift cards from Shell. Really wonderful. Thank you so much for those on behalf of the adopters. There's a lot of hardware in this bag, whatever's going on here. 
I suspect it is one of those uh, hammock beds that Pat sends. Hammock? You call it a hammock bed or a basket? I guess it's more of a basket, really, isn't it? It's exactly what it is, and it's exactly who it's from. It says, hoping Paisley enjoys this from Trouble and Carrie. Oh, it's perfect. And it is exactly that bed. You might you'd be familiar with the bed if you've been watching Kitten Academy for a while. It's basically a big, round mesh basket with a little frame to hold it. And uh, the kittens love to play. This class hasn't seen one, actually. Uh, I don't know if I gave away all the ones that we had, or if there's one upstairs in the closet for me to deploy that I could introduce these kids to. But this one is for Paisley. So I want to label it before that fact gets lost on me. There we go. Uh, I put the gift cards in here so they don't get mixed up with the letters and filed away. And the effectively been filed away in there. I need to pull them all out soon. Uh, all right, basically, we're going to write it on both sides. Perfect. Pat, uh, I mean, Trouble and Carrie, thank you guys so much. Put that right up in there. Perfecto. Those are, uh, those are really great baskets, by the way. I suspect, I suspect these guys are going to love it. Uh, I think Paisley is going to really like that, but it'll be interesting to see because uh, we so far haven't introduced them to that. Uh, we usually have, I think. We've used that for every class since Pat first introduced us to them. All right. This says it is from Callie's mom. Callie's mom. Oh, and there's a note. Hi, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and K.A. Fur Babies. Saw these and couldn't resist. Hope you can put them to good use when Mural's Little Wonders arrive. From Callie's Moms. And your, uh, your letterhead is embossed. It's like 3D. That's really cool. I'm sure it's got these flowers, but they all stand out. Uh, okay. Saw these and couldn't resist. Hope you can put them to use when Mural's Little Wonders arrive. Oh, they're baby blankets. They're little flannel baby blankets, and yes, of course we can put them to good use. Oh, these are nice too. It says, this and that gallery, it, um, they have an Etsy shop, this and that gallery. All right. Um, so Callie's Moms, this is a, a snowflakey pattern. It's very pretty. I'm sure DJ is gonna love this the sort of Christmassy, wintry, snowflakey theme. Uh, also, that seems like a, a gamble, uh, guessing that her babies are going to need this so far into the winter season. <laughs> uh, you might not be wrong at this point, though. Then with a cute print of little black and white uh, drawn kitties with little red accents, uh, bows mostly. It's like actually all bows, little red bows. And then, of course, we have a coffee and espresso print. Ah, I love it. These are fantastic. These, I'll uh, add these to the wash, and then they'll get put into the rotation uh, to be used with our baby blankets. Thank you. We can, uh, never have too many of those. So we'll put that right in here with our stuff. Callie's mom, thank you very much for those wonderful blankets. Uh, they absolutely will be used. Where did I put our, all of our letters? Did I put them in here? Yes, I did. Okay. That'll work. All right. Uh, I gotta slide some of this stuff over here. There we go. Slide it on over. Oh, look, another box from Mr. Meow. All right. Uh, let's see. Mr. Meow. Very generous. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, in this box, more toys for endowments and treats that Loom could pass around. Most respectfully yours, Mr. Meow. Well, Mr. Meow, wow. Okay, another big box. Uh, a bag of these, a box of these balls that were, that I know there was one of these in the last box too because it's over there. The cat stole it and I haven't got up to pick it up. So uh, we've got these packs of toys that include very shiny fish and, uh, Little balls and some mice, and uh, I see a mylar ball. Oh, this one's got an elephant. Oh, they all have an elephant, except, yes, this one too. It's got a yellow elephant. It's got some yellow elephants, some blue elephants, a purple elephant. They've all got an elephant, a fish, some balls, a mouse. Uh, here's another one, same set. It's a good set of toys. 
Uh, here we have some yarn balls. Very descriptive. It's exactly what they are. And then the remainder of the box appears to be cat treats. Uh, wildly natural uh, cat treats. Drives cats wild. And the, the brand name here appears to be Fruitables, which is weird because you would kind of hope there's no fruit in them. I mean, why does a cat care about fruit? They don't. Uh, and also, I don't think there's any fruit. Um, they did use some citric acid. It's one of the ingredients, but no actual fruit. Uh, fruitables dot pet. That's so weird. Okay, anyway, wildly natural chicken flavor, salmon flavor, chicken flavor, tuna flavor. Interesting. All right, and uh, here we got nine lives, soft nom nom ocean medley, ocean medley flavor. Easy for me to say. We got pounce tuna flavor hearts made with real tuna. Uh, more of those. More of the wildly naturals. Um, tuna with chicken puree. That's uh, fussy cat, premium fussy cat tuna with chicken puree. So that's sort of like a churu. We got a couple of those. We also have the delectables that are sort of like churu. And we also have the pure balance uh, that are sort of like churu. And we've got a few more of the delectables. So that's a lot of those. And look at this. This last item in here is something you guys are all going to recognize. A coffee truck bag. <laughs> what an interesting coincidence. Uh, so that's the coffee truck bag, the same one that we just got from Sir Deacon and Cali Mo. Perfect. Uh, this is all great. Uh, Mr. Meow, as you know, uh, once again, you're very generous. And these are great, just great to fill out those endowments. I know they're going to love all of it. There we go. Take that with them to their home. A lot of good treats, too. Oh, okay. Um, and we're sending down this back here. Yeah, well, that's where your other box is, so that's where this one will go for now. Uh, Mr. Meow, thank you so much. All right. This one has a name on the outside, but I don't know if that's the name to use. So we're going to open it up first. Ooh, the Beverly Press, serving Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. All right, back to school. Cedars expansion. Ooh. Deputies investigate. Oh, council approval lights up the strip. Okay. Uh, I love local papers. I especially love the ads. Uh, this should be really fun to read. Not the first copy of the Beverly Press I've got in my collection either. How about that? Okay, to read on stream, dear KA felines and humans. Enclosed, you will find the following. One, a local newspaper for Mr. A's perusal. Uh, seven, okay, a small, one, seven. Yeah, okay, a small wrapped parcel containing seven handmade Micro mini books and journals, one for each cattern as labeled and one for Dr. DJ, who's the creative force behind the clever naming of each class. Brava! You will notice the shiny paper that may match the license frame on your car. <laughs> uh, did I, I think I did tell the story. Oh, wow. A bird just flew into the window. And it flew away, so he's fine. Um, the, the, I did, I, I think I told this story already. I did put the license frame on DJ's car and I was going to do it secretly. And I was out there, I started putting the frame on. DJ never comes out to check on what I'm doing in the garage. And I was out there working on other stuff already. So it's not like she was like, what are you doing out there? Um, but somehow she managed to come out exactly where I was putting the license frame on her car. So she saw me do it, but she approved of it and uh, said that she probably would never have noticed if she hadn't seen me doing it. So it is on the car though. Um, I've heard you like miniatures and shiny, so here's two just for you, Dr. DJ. I hope the adopters enjoy the mini books. I had fun making them. Thanks for making KA such a wonderful place for our feline friends. Love and hugs, JB. And then his package says micro mini journals for the Catterns and Dr. DJ. Well, let's see what a micro mini journal is. If there's seven or eight of them, uh, seven of them in here, they must be very micro. Let's see. Yeah. 
all taped up. I don't want to tear into anything on accident, so I'm trying to open it carefully, but I've just, just torn up all this paper. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. They are micro mini journals, and they're so cute. Uh, so each one is a tiny little journal. And look, it's basket weave. This one's got a basket weave print. And then inside, uh, it's blank. So basket weave can, can write down all of his uh, memories of K.A. And there are all sorts of different paper in here, too. You can get very creative with that. So a little basket weave. We have one for Chevron that's got a, sort of a floral print on it. We have one for Paisley that has some lemons and some shiny leaves. Herringbone has polka dots. Uh, Loom has another floral print, a different floral print. Argyle has a big orange and lemon. There's an orange on the front and a lemon on the back. So cute. And then Dr. DJ, this does exactly match her license plate frame now in her car. And uh, it's got a lot of little to take some notes on. These are so cute. I'm going to put DJs in here to give to her. And I'm going to take all of these. Oh, they're so cute. JB, thank you so much. These are adorable. Uh, it'd be cute to have the kittens put their little paw prints in here, wouldn't it? That'd be a fun thing to do. I'm not sure if we even still have the paw print ink. It's been so long since we've done that. I should get some more. Uh, okay, I'm going to put them in the stack right there, but I am going to have to get a bigger box for all that stuff. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading the paper. JB, thank you very, very much. This is awesome. Perfect. Put that right there. Put these uh, right back here. James Berg, sweet James Lawyer. He's, made, he's punching in his advertisement. See, that's the kind of thing I love about local ads. You've got a lawyer that goes by sweet James and is boxing in his advertisement. Uh, very cute. Okay. JB, thank you again. All right. Uh, next up. Oh, all right. Another one of these awesome meds. And I think we know who it's from. Oh, Basket Weave enjoys this from Trouble and Carrie. So we did know who it was from. Uh, and we're going to write Basket Weave on this one. Oh. I'm just gonna, if I just write basket on it, then later on I'm going to look at it and be like, yes, that's exactly what it is. Why did I write it? So I'm going to write basket weed. Perfect. And add it to the pile. All right. Uh, I'm going to set this box here, and then I might have to get up and move all the rest of the endowments a little closer. Oh! Oh, sure. easy for me. All right, oh, scooch it on down. There we go. Okay, perfect. All the kittens seems like uh, they've all sort of hit their their limit, or they all left. The door is open. Maybe they need their mom around to keep them stirred up. We have basket weave there. We got Princess Paisley here. We got uh, that looks like um, chevron up there. I don't see anybody in the cat run from here, so we're missing Argyle and Harry. Yeah, Mom. Uh, maybe DJ ended up taking them upstairs with her, though. I could see her doing that. Let's move you over so you're definitely on the camera. Are you on the camera? Probably. All right. This says box three of three. So let's uh, let's see if we can unravel that mystery. This one says Boomer's Mom. Oh, this says box two of three. Okay, all right, we're getting there. So, let's see. Uh, Boomer's Mom. Boomer's mom put in a knife guard so I wouldn't cut through whatever was in the box. Very smart. The note. I love it. No J. Walter Weatherman for you. Oh, wow. This is a gorgeous. Um, uh, what is this? Like a block print or something of a cat with a bird standing on his back holding a clover. And, uh, and he's walking in a field of clover, and the, the clover that's in the field all have little 
three little leaves, but the, the one that the bird's holding on his back is a four-leaf clover. That's just really pretty. Uh, it says it is Tadashi Ura uh, Sui Bokuga. I tried. Oh, Sumi inks on washi paper with gold leaf embellishment. All right, that makes good sense. Beautiful. It's uh, titled Cat with Bird. It is lovely. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, we've been watching Kitten Academy since Bebop's arrival and the birth of the hipster Weebops. We so enjoy watching the Kitten Academy and seeing the antics of all the classes. And even though we miss them, we are always thrilled when the kittens find their forever homes. This box contains a blanket slash mat for Harry's endowment. A faux okay, English. Uh, a faux laptop mat for your office, so any kitten or cat that wants to borrow your laptop can have one of their own. And a couple of red and white mice that should go on with Loom, as they seem to be her favorite thing to play with. Unless, of course, you have enough, and then deploy as you see fit. The rest of the toys and treats can be deployed as you see fit. Spoogles all, Boomer and Boomer's mom. Well, thank you so much, Boomer and Boomer's mom. Uh, I don't think you can have enough of those red and white mice for Loom and her family. Plus, I've already got a bunch for us to use as we see fit. So I will add it to her endowments. Uh, let's see. Where do we go here? So um, let's see, a, a blanket slash mat for Harry's endowment. So this looks like a blanket slash mat. It is a square cat pad. Yeah, it's very soft. And then this side has a sort of a pattern on it. Um, very nice. That will be perfect for him, I believe. I think that's for him. We also have, oh, Big Mama's Lappy Toppy. I see. And it is, uh, it's like a foam laptop. That's cute. Big Mama's Lappy Toppy Low-Tech Nap Station. I see that. We'll see if this helps keep them off of my actual computer at all or not. Um, red and white mice that should go home with Loom. Oh, look at that. You sent up a bag of stuff that includes, I see, the red and white mice. Look at that. Red and white mice. We've got some worms. Oh, and also those soccer balls. So there's some other things in here and some springs. That's perfect for Loom. Unfortunately, I can't write her name on it in any meaningful way. Um, I'm gonna have to put it with something else that is just for her. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, we'll get there. Uh, the rest of the toys and treats can be deployed as you see fit. Okay, so we have the bird refill. These are always useful. Um, we have some treats, including Wheelies, real chicken, wheelies, Frisky's party mix. We have Vital Cat freeze dried minnows. We have oh, more Frisky's party mac, uh, lobster and macaroni and cheese flavors. Lobster and macaroni and cheese. Oh, this one's chicken and waffle flavor. Yeah, last time we got the chicken and waffle flavor, I said I was gonna have to try it to see. And I didn't, but uh, I still want to. Also, lobster and mac and cheese. That doesn't sound too bad either. And then we have a Purina Fancy Feast Savory Cravings Break Apart Treats Beef Flavor. This is a new one on me. All right. Uh, also, some long mice. Very familiar. And a bag of, oh, a mixed bag of Mylar and Charlie Balls. Oh, who knew that they sold mixed bags? Charlie balls, Mylar balls. I didn't know you could get both of those together. Very cool. All right. So most of these uh, I'm going to put over here to be sort of potentially generic endowments. So they can go right back here. There we go. I think those are generic endowments. Uh, uh, I'll even throw this back here with that. And this I've got to label somehow as being for Loom. Uh, look at you two. That's so cute. Oh, that bed is for Loom. Can I just put it with that? <sighs> you know what? I'm going to do that, and then uh, we'll move them both into a box together and label the box. So that should work out just fine. Also, these two sitting in that bed together is so cute. All right. 
basket weave is out. Uh, okay, so this goes with our stuff to try out or deploy or use or whatever. And this one gets labeled as being for herring bone. I'm just going to write it right on this plastic. It'd be easier to see on this side. Perfect. We're going to have to break out some bigger endowment uh, boxes here. Um, well, we'll get to it in a minute. Let's get your awful settled in on that endowment. All right, another Amazon drop shipment. Oh, thank you one more time, Boomer and Boomer's mom. Uh, that that is some awesome stuff. I really like that art too. That's uh, that's gorgeous. That cat. Okie dokie. What is this? We've got. Oh, from Shell. Lovely goodies for Loom and her babies. They brought us so much joy and laughter. Hugs, Shell. Oh, well, thank you, Shell. That's the same Shell that sent the uh, gift cards. So this is for Loom and her babies, and you have sent. Uh, let's see, bags of treats. Wow, this is a set of Blue Buffalo Wilderness treats. We have a giant set of uh, feline greenies. Lots and lots of greenies, catnip flavor. Uh, even more greenies, wow, that's a lot of greenies. Uh, dental cat treats. And another bag of the Blue Wilderness treats for them. That is a lot of treats, Shell. Thank you so much for sending those. And uh, thank you to Amazon for putting them in the box big enough for me to steal now to use for these endowments to go in. Including the gift cards that you sent, Shell. Perfect. See, everything comes together. It literally comes together right here in this box. Perfect. You put this in there too, just like this. Oh, yeah. And then this guy stick this in there as well, even though it won't close now. Well, that's got kind of a stiff back to it. I was, I'm surprised by that. Hmm. It pops back into shape. Interesting. Square cap added. Okay, and then let's just put your truth right back on top there if you can. Those right there, put this one right here, you got an extra spot right there. Perfecto. Slide over there. All right. Now we're down to three boxes remain, and they are labeled one, two, three. So some of my green water. Oh, somebody out there is playing. I heard that. Oh, and here's Argyle. So it must be Harry must be out there somewhere playing with somebody in the faculty. Box number one of three. And there's a note right on top. That's good planning. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students of KAOK -OK to read on stream. Confidence, intelligence, the ability to throw up in any corner. It says Port sends love. Oh, oh, and there's donation here too. Thank you very much for that. Put that right over here. You have at least two of those things. <laughs> A confidence, intelligence, the ability to throw up in any corner. I don't know. I've got at least one of those things. Um, okay, uh, to our... Uh, to our K daily staff, you at least two of those things. Of course, the first two, Port and her servants. Uh, um, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, we hope all is good with all the kitties at the Academy. There's a small gift for DJ. Um, oh, the cat mom mask enclosed in the box. Cat mom mask. Oh, that must be the. Oh, look at how cute that is. It says cat mom. It's exactly what it is. Um, most of the rest is, of course, for the cats, especially Mural and her babies. Perfect. Port is doing great, eating everything in sight and making us stay on our toes. Hope our Discord posts keep you from missing Port too much. You put so much love into your kittens and mom cats, so giving back updates seems a small thing we can do. Good luck with all of Mural's new kittens. From Port and her servants, Bob and Ruth. Uh, thank you so much to, to both of you. Thank you for adopting Port and taking such good care of her. And especially thank you for keeping everybody on the Discord updated. I love to see those. I don't get to, to talk uh, as much as I would like to you. Um, 
but I, I do see the stuff that you post on the Discord, and I greatly appreciate it. And it is a, a great relief to hear from people have, that have adopted our cats and, and hear how they're doing. Um, because uh, otherwise, it would just be heartbreaking to do any of this. So thank you very, very much uh, for keeping in touch. And uh, so generous to send all this stuff to, to sort of pay it forward, I guess, to, uh, to future classes. That is really sweet of you. So you sent three boxes, which is extreme. Uh, we've got some baby blankets here for murals, babies, I'm sure. These are cute little gray uh, colored with some elephants and says, so loved. Very cute. Uh, we got more uh, baby blankets here that have a rainbow paw print uh, motif. A whole bag of those. Uh, wow, lots and lots of stuff. Here we got a couple of woodpeckers. Perfect. Just very familiar for the cats that see those outside on the, uh, the cat bird feeder all day long. Here we have a Calming Shag Pet Throw Blanket. Best Friends Calming Shag Pet Throw Blanket. It's heavier than I would expect, but it is a very deep, it's like the, the um, it's like the marshmallow bed material with the really deep sort of floofy shag. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, I bet the cats are gonna love it too. They have enjoyed the, the there's one that's um, sort of this material in the cage with the hammock. Uh, it's rainbow colored, and it's not its not actually a blanket, that one. It's a, the uh, matching pillowcase to the pillowcase that we have. And I've seen the cats laying on it. They enjoy it quite a bit. So they would probably like this. Uh, oh, no. oh, my goodness. Okay. We have a box of RC Mom and Baby Cat wet food that has just emptied itself. Uh, this is great, too, because we do use this fairly often for new moms and new kittens that we're training to eat. So this is one of our staple foods around here. Uh, and in fact, I, I just um, have, have taken Mural and trying to get her to eat just fancy feasts because she gets real bad poops on the, the heavier stuff, but she doesn't eat quite enough of the fancy feasts. So it's a trade-off. Like you're gonna take bad poops and have her eat more, or you're gonna have her eat a little less poops. You know, we just play it by ear. So uh, I'm not gonna bother to put these back in the boxes. I can tell they're just gonna fall out again. So I'll put that over here. Then there is, oh, uh, a big gray marshmallow bed. These are so nice. Um, and now that we've deployed the white one that was sent by you, maybe? I don't remember who sent it, actually. But we deployed that one, so this one could even just sort of be for future use. But these are great. The uh, marshmallow beds are always a hit. This class is the first class that just hasn't used them much at all, although I'm glad to, to say that herringbone has started using the one uh, that has been with this class since the day they were born. So we know who that's going to go home with. So this is all great stuff. That's box number one of three. I'm going to put the blankets all back in the box, and the rest of this we will figure out after mailbag. Well, this goes right here. I know that much. All right, so box number two of three is this weird flat box over here. And I guess we already know who it's from then, Bob and Ruth and Port. Oh, and it says Cottage Cat Scratcher House. Maybe that's exactly what it is. That would make too much sense. Let's just have a quick look and make sure. If I can get it open, that's exactly what it is. Oh, and it's got a cute little mouse toy in it too. So it's basically a big old cardboard scratcher box that looks like a cute little cottage. It's sort of like the uh, camper that we have, except probably a little more durable, maybe a little less durable all at the same time. I imagine they can tear it up a little more, um, So, but it probably won't collapse when they jump on it the way that the, uh, the camper does. That's really fun. This will get. This will definitely have some some use around here, or be an excellent endowment for someone. Beautiful too. I like it. There's a roof. I didn't pull the roof out. Uh, it's like a stripy pink roof. Now, why did this in here? There we go. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I will set that right here, and that brings us to our final box for today's mailbag. Also from. Uh, Bob, Ruth, and Port. And this one says on the outside, Pet Life for Mural. So that's uh, pretty specifically for Mural. 
but it's not very clear what it is. So let's see if we can figure it out. We used to have fallen asleep in uh, um, port, not port's bed, um, Loom's bed. And I need to get another picture of them now that they are asleep. I see this is a scratcher of some kind. I can't tell what it's shaped like though. So let's see if we can. It's shaped like a fishbowl. Is that a fishbowl? I see fish. Why do I see fish? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. It is a, a heavy cardboard scratcher. And the heavy cardboard scratcher. Where's the end of this bag? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. It's not exactly a fish bowl, but it is a fish print with a, they've got like a lettuce leaf and some koi, um, but it's just sort of an abstract shape, I guess. Uh, it is uh, this C shape and then the inside piece here, and you can uh, take them apart and, and I guess stack them in various ways. Very cool though. I can tell this is exactly the kind of thing that um, all mom cats, including Mural, will like. Big on the scratching stuff. Uh, this is awesome. Thank you very much for that. It's very pretty too. I love the koi fish print. All right, I'm not going to put this back in because it's not being shipped anywhere. I'm just going to try to put this back in by itself. Should fit a little nicer without that. Yeah, there we go. Right in there. And you did write for mural on there already, but um, yeah, uh, I can't. Okay, there we go. I'm going to write it again in even bigger letters so that I don't miss it. Mural, R-A-L, perfect. Mural, mural, okay. Well, that does it now. We made it all the way through so many wonderful things for these kittens, for those kittens, uh, for murals kittens that we haven't even met yet. Very exciting, by the way. Uh, thank you to everybody that sent everything. And as usual, uh, now is the time when I have to uh, put all this stuff away. And then after that, we will uh, wrap up the mailbag archive. So let's hop to it. Let me post some of these pictures I just took of these two kids sleeping. So cute. go. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Okay, well, I did see someone, uh, uh, Joy F, on the chat say, if a marshmallow bed exists for humans, she needs to get one. And uh, I'll tell you, that same marshmallow bed material is sold in blankets. We've got one uh, big blue one that I bought, and it does make your entire bed like a marshmallow bed. It's very nice. The cats like it too. Um, and uh, I've used it for like some photo shoots too. It makes a cool sort of, uh, I think I used it for water when we had, was it Ports Oranges that did the pirate ship shoot maybe? I don't remember which group it was now. Um, Maybe it was Bebop's kids. It might have been a while. Not the point. Uh, all right. So I have to get up now. I got to put all this stuff away and get stuff sorted out. And then um, I will say thank you again afterwards. And that will be mailbag. Thank, but thank you uh, again, everybody. Uh, much appreciated. Okay. Let's figure out where all these things go. Okay, up Adam. Oh man, all right. Uh, you two, you guys are really enjoying that bed. That's for your mom though. You can't keep it. And there's so many other beds here for you to choose from, even ones that are almost identical to that one. Why do you have to be in that one specifically? You want me to put one of your other beds there? Is it the place where it is? Look at this bed right here. You guys even like this bed. It doesn't smell bad. 
Here, try this one. Is it the tissue paper? You can keep the tissue. Come here, keep this tissue. Right over there, that bed. There you go. Look, you hardly know the difference. Put these in here, label this as being for Lou now. going to get all this stuff down and down with no. convenient that Loom's put up with DJ right now because I can just open the door and carry the stuff out. I don't have to worry about closing it every time. That's nice. Um, I wanted to mention um, that I guess there we all know that there's a hurricane headed our way. I guess maybe it's not a hurricane yet, but it's supposed to become one. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention that we're as ready for it as we possibly could be. Uh, DJ spent the morning putting together all the spare cat carriers so we would have enough if we needed to evacuate. But surely it won't come to that because uh, we're on a hill and if it ever flooded high enough to like, get to our house, then I'm sure half of Connecticut would be missing and that wouldn't be good. Um, but uh, on top of that, I also I like gassed up our generator and all that stuff. So we're we're as ready as, as it's possible to be. We're going to be fine. So uh, my point being, nobody should worry about us. We got it managed. Famous last words, I know. Oh, look at that. There's a there's a there's a moss uh, has has left some notes here apparently. Oh, and fern. How about that? That's really cute. Little uh, bites in the box from moss and fern. We take this gate down too while we're at it. I'm gonna see this loose not around. Gonna set the gate over here on the floor. Oh, there we go. That's easier than trying to put it away right now. Okay. Everything else has to get downstairs. So let's uh, let's see.
Here's the yellow ball for your space station, kids. Is it behind one of the doors? Nope. Now let's see, how am I going to carry this stuff all the way out? These have got to be closed. This is also for mural. I wonder if I can fit it in here so I don't have to label something else. And now. Yes, yes I can. I'm not going to be able to close this again. Well, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, let's pick this stuff up too. All right, now I think that's it. Oh, I missed one. All right. Hang on.
Now we got it. So that's it for mailbag. Thanks again, everybody. So generous, so wonderful for the kittens and the cats. And I got to tell you, I was I was really um, thinking about how everyone, uh, especially the adopters that send stuff, you're so modest about it. Um, you know, you send wonderful things for all the future classes, and then instead of taking the credit for yourselves, you give all the credit to your cats, like Trouble and Gary and the tiny plants and Port. Um, I, I just I think that's uh, it's really classy, um, I guess how. Uh, sweet and modest all of you are wonderful people all around thank you so much to everybody uh, especially ports adopter for keeping us updated on how they're doing on the discord and otherwise much appreciated so I'm gonna wrap up the archive right here if you are watching on the archive check out the kitten Academy live stream see how things are doing but if you're watching live, you don't have to go anywhere because we're not going to go 